Okay, then. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't take two visitors up here. Kill this fool! Flacco Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you about Boy Calloway. I'm unarmed. <coughs> I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. Yep. There's a girl. Easy. Go away, will you? I'm not talking to you because you won't talk to me. You won't, and it's not fair. How come... How come you get to make the choice and not me? Just... Leave me alone, will you? This is exhausting. He's watching. He's always watching. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. 
None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. We're waiting for you, mister. <laughs> you got mine, and I barely even flinched. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Please, put us out of our misery. Don't think too much. Nothing to fear at all. Okay. Yes! <sighs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and he. Excellent! Fine shooting. Oh! oh. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Quite too much. No, nope, my sweet.
Hey there. Hey, partner. Sir? You ain't been through in a while. Have a look around. Everything in that is available for purchase. It's all yours. Can I get you anything else? Look around. That's done. That's it for now. Thanks, partner. Howdy. You're about as dumb as an ass. You can do better than that, mister. Hello. Um, hello. Again? Oh, you think that hard? It's just a game. Oh, hello. Been a while. Hey there. Mister. Hey, you mister. that beard for a bed hello or there, something? mister. Cause it ain't worth it. Got something in mind? My pa never did a better job himself, I reckon. Okay, that about wraps things up. Hey, tell your friend. What's it to be? Enjoy. Just get out of my way. Thank you. Hey, you did it. <laughs> Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. Stay, girl. Hey, mister, mister Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. <laughs> he once beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Hey, mister. Evening. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Hmm. Well, good luck to you. Go along. Hey. I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis? On a riverboat? Uh -huh. Okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some Sazerac. Idiot.
I'll be right over. What can I do for you? Be seeing you. Okay then, girl. Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
Ah. You must be Danbury. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hello, sir. Well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. Now, we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. Hey, there he is! Come on in! Come on! This is, uh, very kind of you. Don't sweat it, partner. The pleasure's all ours. I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Me? Well, sure. Hey! Get to know the place. Make yourself at home. Well, just go hurry her up a little. She won't listen to me. <laughs> go on, partner. She won't mind. Look, I'm sure she'll be down in a minute. Oh, you don't know her like I do. Married to that mirror, that one. <laughs> Look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> I didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. He uh, just asked me to check on you, that's all. Oh, you don't need to make any excuses. No, sirree. She'll, uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. Uh, she seems uh, a real nice lady. Oh, she's my uh -huh. everything, friend. From the whoop. Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> Wait, this is just about perfect. God. One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. Ah, oh, it's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> the food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop <laughs> it, you! How do you like it? Mmm, it's good. Different. Mmm, mmm, mm. mm-hmm. That meat is so tender. You know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was when we was kids. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. But we still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. Here, here, that's for you. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Mm. 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 Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. Oh. 
<laughs> that stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. Come on, honey. I appreciate the hospitality, folks, but I best be on my way. No, already? I thought we was gonna have some fun together. Oh. I'm sure you two can have more than enough oh. fun without me. Oh. Well? We still can enjoy ourselves, princess. <laughs> yeah. Good girl. Out here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get you home. Come on. Yep. Hey, hey. Go. Mr. Hey, mister. So, I got your moonshot. Hey there, mister. How you doing? You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent N nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Hello. You okay, boy? Testing me now. You know that. Hey there. Look at this. Country boy. Look out. How you doing, though? Good morning, sir. How there, mister? Are you? Somebody! Hey! Who the devil are you? 
far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here! But this cat! I said get out of here! Calf. I'm going. This way. <gasps> I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Hi, uh, ma'am. So sad. Got a smile on my face today. Hello. Bonjour. Morning, mister. Morning. Good morning. Bonjour, monsieur. Everything okay? Uh-huh. So, welcome to our humble police house. This ain't no nice <clears throat> one, Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for fifty. Okay, well, the price is fair, here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Gentlemen. Good day. Hey, Park. Good morning. Buenos dias. Hey, mister. Good morning. Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, 
The chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Ugh. Find him for me, and help me put him out of his misery. Why, this is all coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. Hey, partner. Buenos dias, senor. Hey, mister. Hey there. This piece of shit here. What's wrong with you? They just let anyone out, don't they? Got something to say? Well, see, you boys need to learn some respect. You know what? Time for some fun! Are you asleep? To hell with you! All hair, cream, and elbows. A lot of trouble around these parts recently. Whoa! Come on, girl. Hi there. Um, it's hard not to say that you do. I declare you got crop. Hey there, mister. You ain't scaring nobody. Hey, look out for ya. Morning, dear. Morning. This is the Grand Corrigan Riverboat, Queen of the Land of Hedgy. Hey. I'm looking for boy Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we, said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way with words. Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, uh, but I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't, I... 
I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, or Caesar. You can't happen to me. I'm going to kill both of you. Calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are. <laughs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Eh? Yeah. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Hello. Hey, mister. How are you? Hey there. Howdy, friend. Hi there, mister. Hi. Get on Get him. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Who doesn't want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom? Now you can! As thanks to my book, you'll be extremely rich! This is what America was made for! The chance for the cream to rise to the top! It's time you proved you were cream, and not milk! Hello, mister. Hello, friend! Do you want to be rich? I already got the book. Oh! Well, that's terrific! How are you getting along? Well, I'm clearly not rich. Come on, buddy. You gotta work harder. Read the equations. Follow the 38 steps to wealth. Be a man. I think I'd like my money back. We'd all like our money back, buddy. Caveat emptor, as my old man used to say. Well, my old man used to say different things. Now give me my money. Get out of here. You get out of here. Piss off. You see that? Is that what I can see? There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. 
couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Oh, well. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, this is it. we oh, just no, no, no. want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M. All Please your money me. now. Fine, Don't folks, make me ask valuable. twice. Mr. S, check that Stop. room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice, not mine. Kindly open that gate. Let my acquaintance inside. Give me your money. It ain't worth dying on. All right, there's everything, I said, okay? Open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Yes. There's nothing of course. Much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Move! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. All right, shoot us some space, boys. Look out on the right. Someone hold me right there. That's it all. We got some in those alleyways, Arthur. Hand up on that balcony. Bronte is gonna pay for this. Some riders coming on this side. Arthur, cover our left plenty. Kid, you okay? Look out! Right! Coming out of the bank! That bastard must have called in every ah! cop in the city. That's ah. ah. up! To moon! Oh damn! We are really moving here! Arthur, slow us down! Slow this thing down! I'll try. The thing's broke. Hold on! Oh.
Let's go! out of here. Whew. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time... It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, no. <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. 
What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Especially after that! I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Need a damn cork then. <gasps> this ain't America. We ain't free no more. <clears throat> Kick. <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Dude, that's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you. To kill you. Humanely. No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. 
got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleed. That's the fellow that took our moonshine. I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Come on! Don't be shy now. Let's go. Come on. Ha, bring here. here. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our... our, um... our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Good girl. Damn it. Good God, please no. Move already.
Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a f What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. The exhibition is through there. If I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, Morning, hold on. Dear. Let me compose myself. Morning, ma'am. I think that it's Greek. Morning, dear. That's far too modern for my taste. Look at these idiots. Tara, it's me. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame. I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her... Delicate! <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you! That's it! Oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, Henry! Son of a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh! <laughs> I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right! <laughs> Waste of my time. That went wrong in a hurry. Please, protect me! What can you say? It was not boring, huh? That it was not. Architect people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. You did, and you are. Now, maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel! My little bird! It's me! You, I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. 
Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> I make no bones for my testament. For my testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast, and hard, and nasty. Laugh you may, sir. But the world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Look around, and learn. We... Hey. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Hmm. Thank you. The truth. We are killing this land. Killing it with greed. Killing it with science. I am a scientist. Man. Yeah. Hey there, mister. made short work of them. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> I 
Okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. This is it. Down here. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant! Yeah, yeah. So you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Galloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Well, that settles that then. Shut up. I shot him in the goddamn back! When these things happen... God damn you! Goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down! Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato! Come on! Draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Shit, indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. The p- 
Trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. <laughs> Bullshit, you was. <laughs> you move and I'll shoot you. Bastard. How's he, bastards? And maybe ye shall find peace. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. You keep hidden all that matters, sir. Maybe even from yourself. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Let's go, boy. Wait. Yeah. Yep. Master. There, boy. Easy! <laughs> oh, stay there now! But you might have held him too much. We can't keep this to ourselves. The hell are you two peeping at? Shit! Come on! You're so damn funny, anyway. Well, I've been a bad boy again, Mama. A bad, bad boy! Yes, you have. Oh, but don't go easy on them. I need to be taught a lesson. Oh, yeah! Close the drapes! 
If you tell a soul, I swear I'll kill you! Thank you for the show! <laughs> Okay, boy. Wait. Hello there. That horse doing all right? I'm all out of space. No papers. Huh? Well, I can't give you full price on account of that might be stolen. Take care of that nag. Come back and see me. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly bull. And Protus isn't... You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash him. No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on! You really walloped him! My yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again. again! Right here! Right here! Oh! Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I... Ugh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? <laughs> They've come out his ears! <laughs> My turn! <laughs> Enough, gentlemen? Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> Howdy, fellers. Howdy, friend. Y'all doing all right? Hey, friend. Jackass. You can do better than that, mister. Hello. Yes, you just said hello. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? Whatever you say. I've about had it with you. Leave me alone.
All right, boy. Yeah, go on and move. Yeah. Easy there. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. But I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! Ah! Damn! <sighs> you were right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh! 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 Thank you. Uh, you know what? Bugger the eagles! I'm going home. Uh, you know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh.